Hey everyone, Jackie here with Enjoying Life's Journey. Welcome back to our channel. Today is week six renovation update. So if you have missed any of the previous videos, you can go ahead and I'll have a list in the uh, description box along with the tour, kind of you can see what the RV looked like before we started doing renovations, everything we've done up until now. And if you're not familiar with our channel, basically we have the RV, we will be living in it full time. We will be traveling, working, seasonal work camping jobs while we road school our girls. Uh, and then we'll be able to take off a few months every year to explore. So that's kind of the goal um, of why we have the RV in case you're new uh, and basically how we've made that happen is we've been following Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps so we got out of debt we were able to purchase the RV cash and we've been able to do all of these renovations uh, as well staying debt free so we're super excited about that so uh, let's check uh, let's jump in this week the majority of everything that we did was I would say safety related so let's see what we got done all right so we did finish the stairs so Lee's here he's measuring out the space because we got we picked up some of these rails to put around and then we spray painted those black so here they are the stairs pretty much done Ricky painted around the side and then look at our nice new rail so will pretty much help uh, protect the floor as we go in and out of the RV. And then we have uh, a built-in cooler there, which is pretty cool. That came like that. And then we have our flooring on the back there. And then we actually use the old dining room table to make the new step. It used to be like a particle board, which isn't very stable. So we did that. And then we used the rest of the dining room table to build this really cool hatch door. And we just painted that black as well. And this is basically to provide a little bit of extra floor space in the RV, but mostly it's for Elsa. Our, she's almost two and I really don't want her falling down the stairs all the time. We didn't get to finish painting officially. We painted the refrigerator black. We painted those uh, glass inserts on the cabinets black. And then we originally weren't gonna paint these cabinets because we have the curtain that cover them, but we went ahead and painted them black. I really like the way they came out. And we got new speakers because the other ones were busted. And then we finished painting the white around the wall. And then we did the same speakers back in the girls' bedroom. So those are nice. Then we replaced all of our outlets with a nice glossy black finish so those look really nice and then here's Louie he's actually helping us get all the wiring by the desk uh, nice and secure and tucked away we have some of it behind the refrigerator area and then uh, we did the L brackets on the desk so now the desk is completely secure to the floor of the RV our wires are nicely tucked away and then we have these wires that go up through the desk, another L bracket there, that go up through the desk here, and these are actually the wires that go to the light switch that was used to be on the dinette, and that's for the outside light and the living room light, so we'll be putting that in the desk. And then over by the couch, we put the seat belts back, uh, back on. Those are actually the original holes from where the seat belts were before. They're bolted to the ground, which is good. So we decided to bolt the couch down instead of using L brackets. We decided to bolt it through the floor, through the legs and the base of the couch. So here's Ricky underneath the RV tightening up those bolts. So now the couch is completely secure to the floor, can't even budge. That's awesome. And now basically we're just routing the seat belts through the new couch. So I know we had a couple viewers concerned about the seat belt issue. So yes, we did keep the original seat belts and luckily they're just bolted to the floor. So those can come up through the new couch. Arcadia is having fun testing it out, but we will have car seats. <laughs> Their car seats will be buckled in there. And then just a few random finishing touches here. I got a towel rack. We replaced this string on the awning uh, and got a little metal ring so it's, we can pull it down if we only have one person because the old one, as you can see, was pretty bad shape. And then lastly, we finished out the week with buying some of the supplies that we need. Uh, and these are basically the water system type supplies right here that we got. We got a new drinking hose. It's a 50 foot hose. We got a water filter. We got a water pressure uh, regulator. 
a Y hookup, and then we did get an elbow uh, hose hookup as well, so we don't kink up the hose. And then a little bit for the black tank, we got a holding tank uh, rinser, and then we got this clear L shape elbow, so you can actually see um, if your black tank is running clear. And then we were starting to stock up on some of the RV specific toilet paper. We got a little mini dish drainer for the kitchen sink. And then Ricky found this really cool, it's like a RV a scrub thing, but you can actually hook the hose up into it so you can get the water up there. And then most, one of the most important things you guys don't want to forget is the carbon monoxide smoke alarm. And this came in a dual pack, so that was great. We might pick up a second one. And then we picked up this two, the two inch ball that we need um, for the back of the hitch on the RV so we can tow our car behind. So like I said, most of the stuff we got done this uh, week I would consider safety. So we got the desk and the couch completely bolted down, got the seat belt secure, we got all the wires um, out of the way and put away, uh, and finally finished the painting, finished the steps into the RV, which look awesome, and then we got that cool hatch door now to give us a little more floor space uh, for the bed to come out and again so Elsa doesn't fall down, uh, down the stairs. So it's moving along. Uh, basically, we are going to start um, doing, making sure we have all the mechanical type things that we need. Like I mentioned, you know, we got all the stuff for the water system, so we're going to make sure we have, uh, make sure our hose for the sewer is good and make sure we have uh, hookups. We want to get some electrical cores and stuff so when we are camped or in front of, you know, my mom's house and Ricky's brother's house, we're able to plug in. A little bit of things to purchase as far as mechanical goes, but we're basically almost done. We hit the road August 29th, uh, so stick around. Next week should be almost done, or maybe we'll be going on our test run to clean out all the tanks and sanitize everything and get it officially ready for moving, and then we will be moving in shortly, a couple weeks away. So stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.